Hello guys and guys, and uh, welcome back to another video. I want to start off this video by saying that um, this, what I'm going to be talking about is a subject that not really a whole lot of people are too well informed of at this point in time, including me. So everything that I say could be completely wrong, it could be changed by the time this video is uploaded, it could be changed by the time you watch this video. Um, I just want to say that so I'm not misleading to anyone, it wouldn't be fair to you guys, it wouldn't be fair to me. Um, but I just kind of wanted to share with you guys what I know and kind of what's happening with, with YouTube this since last night. Um, so if you guys don't watch a lot of YouTube videos or whatever, you probably don't know um, that um, over 50,000 YouTube channels have been um, suspended. Now, that's a rough number. Um, I can't verify that number. There's no way for me to check 50,000 YouTube channels and make sure that it's exactly that amount of channels that have been suspended. But that's a good rough estimate um, that has been has been shown. Um, so I'm going to be kind of going off of a good article I saw on Eplus Vox's um, website. Also, I, I, I experienced this firsthand and it's completely horrible. Um, a lot of my friends were affected, and I'm, I, I truly feel for you guys. It would just, I, I can't imagine how, how horrible that must be. I mean, I pour my life and soul into my YouTube videos, and it, it's just horrible to see all of that just gone. Like, you can't even go to their channels. They can't even log in and watch YouTube videos. They are, they're literally helpless their channel suspended no one can watch any of their videos and it's just really horrible and I, I i can't imagine what that's like and i really feel for you guys but um i'll dig in deeper to why this is happening um so apparently um according to twitter and other sources and me actually seeing the notifications that come up when trying to go to channels um, such as the ones that have been suspended. Um, a few of those people are my friends, such as Ender Archer, uh, Operation Styles, Expert Games, a whole bunch of other people. Um, and it's just really horrible. It, even big people like Log.Zip, who had uh, 200,000 subscribers, and uh, Yami, one of um, Stampy Longnose's friends, um, who had 50,000 subscribers, they're just it, they can just suspend their channel with like the snap of a finger and that, that really it really bugs me like I've always known that YouTube had the authority and I always knew that YouTube had the power to do that but me actually experiencing them actually doing that it, it, it just really scares me because so many people that do YouTube they just put so much effort into these videos and to see something like this happen to them it's really actually very frightening to me as a YouTube content creator and it just plain out sucks for people that enjoyed their videos and uh, uh, YouTube is an entertainment business and for those people in their videos to just get wiped clean it it's really quite horrible um so as to the reason for all of this mass suspension um I, I believe, and a lot of other people believe, that it's due to the implementation of a new uh, YouTube uh, API system, or not API, but um, some sort of system similar to the one that happened earlier this year with the uh, mass wave of content ID strikes that had been going on. Um, I don't know if you guys knew about that, but basically just a whole bunch of videos were content ID'd and um, claimed for copyright. Um, and it was essentially due to the implementation of a new system that YouTube had of tracking those videos down. Now, apparently, they have done the same thing, but with this this time with um, metadata. Um, metadata is stuff such as tags and descriptions and even titles. Those are what are considered metadata of your video. Um, they are the identifying information that YouTube uses to categorize and place your videos throughout YouTube. So if you were to put in something such as Minecraft, obviously if someone searched Minecraft in YouTube, it would show up because you tagged it with Minecraft, you put Minecraft in the description and even in the title. So what's the problem? Well, people um, 
I've seen this done before, but people just spam repetitive words, um, just trying to get extra metadata in there. Uh, and the trick to that is the more metadata you put in, obviously, the higher it's going to rank in searches because it's more accurate. That's how YouTube sees it. They see it as more accurate because it contains more of that word. So people had abused that and um, essentially um, just spammed repeating words such as Minecraft or uh, even YouTubers' names. They just spammed repetitive words just trying to get their video more um, search, search, um, you know, optimization. And it's, it's, it's kind of not fair. But for YouTube to go this far and start banning channels because of it, it's a little bit much. Now, I know they updated their terms of service um, a month or two months ago with um, this recognized. They they had essentially made it against their terms of service to do this. And um, I was not informed of this at the time. Luckily, I, you know, I wasn't hit by it. But um, it's just kind of hard to see them ban or not banning that would be even worse but um them suspending channels because of something that they had recently implemented never informed people of i mean sure they sent out the terms of service but let's be honest no one reads those but um obviously they could claim that it's their fault because they didn't read those and i understand that's totally totally um fine because they can do that they sent out the terms of service and people agreed to it but to see them not warning people just out of the blue and for them to be doing this sort of thing to channels and people that pour their lives into YouTube it's really upsetting even people log log.zip it's their job to do videos on YouTube and for that job to be just ripped away from them like just that fast at the snap of a finger it's really scary um now, I don't know if this is over. Um, I'm fairly sure, I'm about 90% sure that this is all going to be fixed by the time the weekend's over, and I'll probably take down this video if that is true. I'll probably take down this video by then if that's true, but um, I just want to make this to inform you guys. If you are in a position where this has affected you, um, share your experiences in the comments. Um, this is kind of like an informational video, so I want to I want to make this as informational as it can be to you guys, to help you guys, to give support to those that have been affected. I will do my best to update the description with links to channels that have been affected. Obviously, it won't do much good because all you'll be able to see is a little banner at the top of the channel that says you've been suspended. And it's really horrible, but I'll, I'll do my best to give recognition to those that have been affected and... um uh, yeah, just make sure you, if you know anything about this, you put it down in the comments. I'd love to kind of form a good informational source of whatever the heck is happening. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm deeply sorry and I feel for everyone that was affected from this. And that's pretty much all I have to say. It's, it's shocking. <laughs> it really, really, truly is shocking. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.